Hello, everyone. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. Joining me now, I'm happy to have again with the latest update, Cobb and Douglas Public Health Director, Dr. Janet Meemark. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Meemark. Thanks so much for having me, Rick. It's good to be here. We have really appreciated your updates on COVID-19 as it pertains to Douglas County and keeping people informed. So again, thank you so much. I want to get right to it, Dr. Meemark. So what's going on in Douglas County? Where are we with the numbers? So we're doing really well right now. So right now we have just under 3,300 cases that are confirmed in Douglas County and um, with 68 deaths. But um, the, if you look at the 14-day case rate, we're doing really well. I think yesterday was 132 um, per 100,000, um, and I think it sank down even a little lower. So that's going in the right direction. So we're really excited about that. Good to hear. You know, like I normally do when we talk about the numbers with people and what have you, um, I'd really like to also ask you about hospitals. Where does Wellstar Douglas stand right now? So, you know, um, just uh, probably a week or two ago, they were doing a little bit better with hospital beds, uh, had a little bit more room in the ICU and critical care beds. And um, right now, they, they're they a little tight on beds right now. Um, they're not all COVID-19 um, patients, but um, definitely um, some tight critical care and um, medicine beds at this time. Dr. Meemark, what can you tell us about testing? So uh, thanks for asking. So there's, a, there's been a little bit of confusion about the testing these days. And so the first thing we want everybody to know is whoever needs a test can get a test. They're available to you. And so we continue to do testing at the Douglas Public Health Center and work with our um, group, the core group, the Community Organized Relief Effort. That's Sean Penn's group that um, helps us to go and do outreach testing. And so there are different areas. I think they're gonna be at the aquatic center a day or two and doing testing over there. Remember that's the, the shallow nasal swab. So that's really nice to have that one done. So, but it's important though um, to think about when you need to get tested. So definitely if you have symptoms that are consistent with COVID-19, please get tested. Um, if you have that shortness of breath or cough or fever, or um, even the loss of taste or smell, sore throat, headache, or muscle pain, those, things, those symptoms are consistent with COVID-19 and you can get tested for sure. And if you were a contact to somebody, if you had symptoms and then you were a, a contact to somebody else that had COVID-19, you were within six feet for greater than 15 minutes, you can get tested as well. Here's where the confusion comes in a little bit is, um, if I'm a contact, when should I get tested? And I know a lot of people want to know right away. And there could be certain situations where you might want to get tested that day you find out. So maybe you were the person that potentially gave it to the, the other person, right? That's the potential if you knew that you might have come in contact with somebody and maybe inadvertently given someone COVID-19, then you could definitely get tested. Otherwise, what we ask you to do is wait the 10 days before getting tested because it takes two to 14 days for the virus to incubate in your system. So get tested at 10 days. But if you get tested and it comes back negative, remember you're not released from quarantine. You must finish the 14 days of quarantine. During that 14 days, if you ever develop symptoms, please get tested. Gotcha. Got you. I've heard that it's very important to get the flu shot this year. What do people need to know about the flu vaccine? So, you know, there's some exciting um, research and um, information coming out of Australia, which is uh, it kind of uh, is the precursor for us for our flu season. And usually they have a pretty good number, like 60 something thousand cases by this time for our flu. And right now they only have a very small fraction of that. And that is some really good news. So, I mean, very small. I think it was less than 5% of the flu cases they would anticipate. And what the thinking behind that is, why they're preventing their flu from happening, it's thought to be all those three W's we talk about, right? Washing your hands, wearing your mask, maintaining your distance, um, but also avoiding large crowds. But also getting the flu shot, very important. They ordered additional flu vaccines this year and are vaccinating their population very aggressively. And so the last thing you want to do is get the flu and COVID-19 this year. So go ahead and get the flu shot as soon as you can. And we'll be having flu vaccine um, um, drives as well. 
trying to get our population vaccinated. So please do that as soon as you can. That's great. So we'll be getting the flu vaccine um, out soon uh, from your office. Yeah, and they're available in doctor's offices already. So go ahead, if you see it available, go ahead and get it done. Gotcha. Talking about the flu vaccine brings me to my next question. What do we know about the COVID-19 vaccine? So um, we are working very hard with the federal government and the CDC and um, Georgia State Public Health to prepare for a COVID-19 vaccine to come out. What we know so far is we're still anticipating it coming out in late October and early November. And so we will be helping out with that. Some of you may have heard about the AstraZeneca um, trial that has been put on hold right now. And so that happened because there was one, um, one patient or a participant that became ill and they're trying to find out right now, was that a coincidence or did it have to do with the vaccine? Now, I want everybody to know that this is kind of a normal part of vaccine trials. Well, they will stop and take a look and see if the vaccine caused the um, illness that the patient had or the ill effect. Now, what I am reassured about this because that means that they are following safety protocols. And so they're halting the trial, doing a little bit more investigation, and hopefully they'll get restarted. And so knowing that this vaccine is um, kind of on the fast track, it's good for us to know with transparency that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing as regards to safety. Gotcha. Is there anything else you would like to tell the residents of Douglas County, Dr. Meemark? Yeah, you know, I think I forgot to talk about um, next week, we have a um, combined food drive and testing event with Representative David Scott. It'll be a big event at Word of Faith Church. We, he tried to find somewhere between Cobb and Douglas counties to serve both communities. So you can come and um, the first, like, uh, I don't know how many cars will get um, food packages and you'll get a free um, COVID-19 uh, test as well. The second thing I wanted everybody to know is that there's a big need right now for blood donations and for convalescent plasma. Um, the FDA approved convalescent plasma as a treatment um, to help with COVID-19 if people get severely ill. So please, if you can, go to the Red Cross and um, sign up to give, um, if, especially if you had COVID-19, you can help the community by giving a little bit of plasma so that you can help the next person who's fighting against COVID-19. Don't forget, though. Oh, I know, Rick, but you know what I'm going to say. What's the last thing I'm going to say? Oh, you're putting me on the spot. Yeah, well, we're going to wear our masks. We're going to wash our hands, maintain our distance, and please, um, please avoid large crowds. We, Douglas County has made a tremendous ding in this, um, in this uh, pandemic, and we're doing such a great job. So let's please keep going on that. And, you know, Dr. Meemark, that is the truth. You know, I really have to say... Thank you to all the citizens out there uh, who are wearing their masks. I'm seeing so many people, more and more people wearing their masks, practicing social distancing um, and washing their hands. You know, and it's it's funny. As a matter of fact, a perfect example is when I uh, recently went to get tires for my wife and I turned around and people came in wearing their mask. So it was really nice to see that. And you were practicing social distancing as well. So Very thank good. you so much. Thank Very you. Thank you. Dr. Meemark, it's been a joy. It's been wonderful having you as a guest. Again, thank you for taking the time. Oh, thank you.